Hello all, in this lecture we will see how to test serializability of a schedule. So there is a simple algorithm for that. We will see what is that algorithm and also we will see some examples. So before going into this uh, testing algorithm, we have uh, we will be doing some uh, examples. So here what we are doing is uh, we will have an algorithm to determine whether a particular schedule is serializable or not so most of the concurrency control methods actually do not test for the serializability but what they do is they develop some uh, rules and they will see uh, whether they they are following these rules whether those trans serial schedules are following these rules okay so before anyway uh, we will define and uh, we will see an algorithm for testing the serializability for a schedule so before going into that, we will have some definitions. What is what do you mean by this precedence graph or we call it a serialization graph. It is a directed graph. So it is a directed graph. So you have already seen in data structures what do you mean by this directed graph. It consists of nodes and edges n comma e. It consists of nodes and edges and a set of nodes are T1, T2, etc. So all the transactions, if we have n number of transactions in a schedule, all those n transactions will be the nodes. Okay. And there will be a set of directed edges E1, E2, etc. EM. So there will be some edges between this these nodes. So there will be edges between these nodes. So we will see how to draw these edges. So one node in the graph for each transaction ti in the schedule so your transaction so how nodes come is for every transaction there will be a node then how each edge is drawn each edge ei in the graph is of the form tj to tk that is from one node to another so one transaction to another there will be an edge so here tj is known as the starting edge of ei and tk is known as the ending edge of ending node of ei so an edge from tj to tk is created so when an edge is created so it is created by the algorithm if a pair of conflicting operations exist in tj tj and tk if there is some conflicting operation tj and tk and the conflicting operation in tj appears in the schedule before the conflicting operation in tk then we will draw an edge from tj to tk so if there are some conflicting operations between tj and tk and tj appears before tk then we will draw an edge from tj to tk so that's all so the algorithm is very simple so this is the algorithm how to test so what we have to do is we have to first what we have to do is for for each transaction ti in the schedule create a node labeled ti in the precedence graph then for each case in s so in the schedule what you have to do is we have to take each operation where tj executes a read item so we'll be in this algorithm we'll be considering only the read and write operations we won't be considering any other updations we'll be considering only read and write so what you have to do is for each case uh, in s if tj if any of the transaction is executing read item of x after ti executes a write item then we should draw an edge from ti to j okay so ti is ex ti we have a write and tj we have a read so there is a conflict between those two there is a conflict between those two since ti is a write and tj is read we have to draw an t edge from ti to gj then the third, third step what you have to do is for each case in S where TJ executes a write item X after TI executes a read item then we have to create an edge TI to TJ. So here, uh, here uh, T, uh, so here uh, what happens is TJ is executing read uh, write item after TI executes a write, read item. So we have to ha draw an edge from ti to tj okay then 
at uh, next case fourth uh, step will what you have to do is uh, for each case in s where tj executes a right item x after ti executes a right item of x then what i have to do we have to draw an edge from ti to tj okay then in the fifth step what you have to do is after drawing all these edges we have to check whether the schedule is serializable if and only if the precedence graph has no cycles so you know what is a cycle the starting edge a starting node and the ending node if is the same then it there will be a, we can say that the graph consists of a cycle okay if there is no cycle then the schedule s is serializable the schedule s is serializable okay so we will see an example of uh, so we have already seen uh, schedule a so these are serial schedules so uh, there is conflicting operation between these two because we have a uh, right item of x and after that we have a read item of x so in t1 we have a right and after that read so according to the algorithm uh, we have a right here we have a read after a right so we have to draw a edge from ti to tj so we have to draw the edge from ti to tj that's what we have written so we have to draw t1 to t2 then in this case we have a right and after that a read so these two are conflicting so we have to draw an edge from t2 to t1 it is from t2 to t1 now we will take uh, some other example schedule c and schedule d schedule c if we draw the uh, equivalence graph we will first um, there are two transactions so, so there will be two nodes t1 and t2 then after that we have to check the conflicts among them so there is no conflict here there is a conflict here there is read and after that there is a write so we have to draw an edge from uh, t2 to t1 so we have drawn this edge and we have marked that there is a x conflict here t2 to t1 then after that there is a right and uh, after that we have a right again here we have a right and right they are conflicting operations so there should be an edge from t1 t2 to t2 so t1 to t2 and x will be drawn now if we see there is a cycle so from t1 to t2 so there is a cycle if we start from t1 it will end to t1 and t2 if we start from t2 also it will end to t1 so there is a cycle in this graph there is a cycle so if there is a cycle so what we have written if there is a cycle then it is not serializable we cannot serialize that schedule now we will check schedule d schedule d schedule d we have uh, a conflict here write item and uh, read item of x so we have to draw an edge from t1 t2 t2 so we have drawn a, an edge here then after that write item so x is not read by again by t1 so there are no other edges so schedule d there are no cycles so schedule d is serializable okay now uh, okay so uh, this is uh, actually schedule a schedule b schedule c and schedule d now we will take another example here so we will take another example we have t transactions three transactions t1 t2 and t3 we have three transactions t1 t2 and t3 uh, these are three transactions so it can occur if we are uh, having serial schedules then it will be uh, t1 first t2 second then t3 or t1 first t3 second then t2 or t2 first then t1 second and t3 or t3 first then t1 t2 like that we can have n n factorial ways to serial schedule it okay so we will see an example of this uh, one non serial schedule we have a non serial schedule like this t1 so there are interleaving of these operations so we call it a schedule e schedule e is a non serial schedule now what you have to do is we have to check whether uh, this has some cycle or not so we have to draw the graph so we have to draw the precedence graph so first what we have to do is we have to draw three nodes t1 t2 t3 three uh, nodes will be there 
So T1, T2 and T3 will be drawn. Then after that, this is a type. So we have to start from read item of Z, T read item of Z, then Y, Y. After that, we are reading here Y. So there is a conflict because there is a write item and after that, there is a read item. So write item and read item. So there is a conflict. So we have to draw an edge from T2 to T3 and we have to mark it as Y. So we have to draw that is we have marked here T2 to T3 and we have marked here Y here. Then after that uh, read item again we are uh, reading here read item of X X is not written then write item of X there is no problem after that write item of Y comes write item of Y comes so we have already drawn this then there is write item of Z so there is a conflict so here there is a read item of Z and after that there is a write item so we have to draw an edge from T2 to T3 again with Z. So again we have already drawn that edge and we have to mark Y. Now we have to mark this Z also. Then after that we have reading uh, item X then there is a conflict here because we are writing here and after that there is a read. So there should be an edge from T1 to T2. So T1 to T2. Oh, so we have marked here T1 to T2 there is an X here. Then after that, uh, it is read item of Y. Again, there is a conflict because uh, there are two conflicts here. One is from T2 to T1. Here it is reading, uh, here it is writing and here it is reading. So there are there is one conflict here. Then we are writing here and there is read here. So we have to draw T2 to T1 and also from T3 to T1. So T2 to T1 with Y and T3 to T1 with Y. Then after that it is then after that it is right item of X right item of X there is uh, no conflict uh, here there is a conflict T1 to T2 with that um, conflict T1 to T2 uh, with X that we have already drawn here okay. So this this is a final graph so this is a final precedence graph. Now, if we check, we have a, a cycle here. We have a cycle from he, here, T1 to T2. There is a cycle here. Again, there is another cycle, uh, T1, T2, T3, and T1. So there are two cycles in this graph. So it, there is no equivalent serial schedule for this. So this is, we cannot serialize this schedule. Okay, so there are, since there are two cycles in this graph. Then uh, the same T3 transactions, we are interleaving different operations now. Now we will draw the same uh, precedence graph for this schedule. So first we will draw three uh, nodes T1, T2, T3. Then after that, so here read item Y, then after that read item Z, then after that read item X, there is no conflict, write item, there is no conflict. Then write item of Y, there is no conflict. Then after that write item of Z, that is, or there is no conflict. Now there is a conflict after that read item. So there is a conflict between T3 and T2. So we should draw an edge from T3 to T2. So T3 to T2 and we have to mark it as Z. T3 to T2, we have to mark it as Z. Then after that read item of Y, read item, there is a conflict. Here we have write item and we have a read. So we have to draw T3 to T1 and mark it as Y. T3 to T1 and we will mark it as Y here. Then after that write item, so we have already written that this there is a conflict. We have already drawn that. Then after that again read item of Y. So there is a conflict between these two. Okay, so and these two also between, so we have to draw T1 to T2 and T3 to T2. T1 to T1 to T2 and T3 to T1. Sorry, 
sorry sorry uh, t3 to t2 so we have to draw from t1 there is a conflict among these two so t1 to t2 so t1 t sorry t1 to t2 and we have to mark it as y also then there is a conflict among these two so t3 to t2 so t3 to t2 we have to mark it y also okay then after that we are having right item y so we have already so, so on that conflict then after that read item of x so there is a conflict between these two t1 to t2 there is a conflict so from t1 to t2 another edge with x so t1 to t2 we have already seen that conflict for y there is a conflict for x also now then there is read item we have already seen right item everything is over so this is the graph now if you check there is no uh, if you check this graph there is no uh, cycle in this graph we can see that there is no cycle in this graph so this schedule is serializable so this schedule is serializable okay so this schedule is serializable because if we start from here there is no it will end here if we start from here it will end here okay so the equivalent serial schedule is t3 t1 t2 so how we will get this equivalent schedule t3 t1 t2 how we will get this equivalent schedule so it is easy to get this equivalent schedule uh, what we have to do is we have to start from a node where, the, where there is no incoming edge so if we take t1 there is an incoming edge if we take t2 there are two incoming edge for t3 there is no incoming edge so we have to start from t3 okay we have to start from 3 t3 then we follow any of the paths so which end which covers all the uh, edge uh, edges uh, sorry uh, all the nodes so from t3 t1 t2 so that is how we get this t3 t1 t2 so this is equivalent to executing this serial schedule t3 first after that t1 after that t2 okay that is how we will get the equivalent serial schedule. We will see another example. Uh, so if we have something like that, we in this graph, T3 has no incoming edges. So there are two equivalent schedules here. So T3 to T1, then after that T2, or T3 to T2, and after that T1. So any of the serial schedules can be executed. So first T3 will be executed. After that, T1 followed by T2 or first T3 are followed by T2 and T1. So there are two equivalent serial schedules for this graph. Okay. So this is how we have to obtain equivalent serial schedules. How to obtain is we have to start from the edge which has no incoming edge. Sorry. Uh, we have to start from the node where there is no incoming edge. Then you have to follow some path. So we will follow T1, T2. If we follow this path, the T3, T2, T1 is also poor, but uh, it, uh, there is no uh, graph uh, edge from this T2, T1. So we'll, we have to end there. T3 to T2, we have to end there. So it is a, so the serial schedule is like this. T3, T1, T2. So the, in this order, this will be executed. So this is equivalent to executing this serial schedule in this series. And this graph, any of these schedules can be followed. This is equivalent to both the serial schedules. Okay. So this is a reference. Thank you.